In this video, we'll talk about smart learners and efficient learning. You must have probably heard of the words smart learners. While these words are used and explained differently by many people, smart learners are simply those who foster a smarter and more efficient learning atmosphere by using certain habits. The learning community is fast growing and smart learners believe that there are always ways to learn in a better way. What is efficient learning? To start with, there are widespread techniques applied to this blanket term called efficient learning. The simple point is whatever technique helps you to retain information easier and smooths the learning process for you is what you should stick to because no method of learning efficiently is superior to others. However, know that when it comes to finding what method is best for you, there are no right or wrong answers. Consequently, it's best that you explore different methods so that you can be fully convinced about the tricks and tips that work for you. Efficient learning, simply put, primarily focuses on or encompasses retention, recalling, and comprehension of a discourse, subject matter, or topic. What you can do to learn more efficiently. Eat and avoid certain foods. Foods that you should avoid eating include white bread, fruit juice, and margarine. Cookies, donuts, and a host of other highly processed foods or those with refined sugar should be avoided because they tend to inhibit learning, according to research. Speaking of the good foods, it's recommended that you eat more blueberries, avocados, celery, spinach, broccoli, walnuts, salmon, and sardines. Foods with omega-3 fatty acids and folic acid are good brain food, and some of these foods can help to reduce brain injury and also improve focus and foster a better memory. Whenever you're planning on studying, make sure you eat the right foods around that time. Number two, drink water. We experience a 10% decline in cognition when we feel thirsty. This is in accordance with a study. Your learning capabilities can be inhibited by a mild case of dehydration. And if you're dehydrated, there's a high chance that your brain won't work right because our brain contains 73% water. So do well to drink enough water and try to stay hydrated over the course of the day. Number three, sleep. A simple six minute nap can help improve memory. This is in accordance with a German study. Basically, this explains that a long sleep may not be what you need to relax and learn better. Brain function in general can be improved by sleep. So make sure you get enough sleep. Number four, collaborative learning. Collaborative learning has the potential of giving you long-term retention benefits, a deeper understanding of the subject, more engagement, and an improvement in both collaboration and communication skills. You stand to enjoy an array of benefits when you study and learn together in the right kind of group. However, there are some people who naturally prefer to study by themselves, and for this kind of people, what they need to work on is improving their independent learning. Number five, remove stress. Stress will make it difficult for you to learn and even remember what you learned, irrespective of who you are. If you're stressed out, there's a good chance of blanking on an answer during test time. Therefore, you must work on reducing stress by practicing all kinds of techniques. You can stay calm and remove stress with techniques like meditating, breathing exercises, and physical activity. Number six, listen to music. Calming and soothing music has been noted to be very effective for learning. A study affirmed that music helps students to be more receptive to information, and it is a useful tool in improving studying. Number seven, avoid multitasking. When you're multitasking, you're stressing your brain to be jumping from one task to another that's entirely different. Multitasking can hamper the ability of your brain to properly process information and store new information. You'll always be distracted with multitasking. While others may want to do multiple things at once, find yourself in a learning environment where you can do one thing at a time. Number eight, teach someone else or think about it. While we teach, we learn. This is an old saying that works just fine. If you cannot teach, just think about helping someone and you may as well reap the same benefits. Number nine, try various learning techniques. There are several forms of learning, not just techniques per se, that you can always try out. So, learning to use various strategies or test running different methods can be a very efficient learning technique. For example, try collaborating with people and forming a study group if you study alone most times. Listen to podcasts or speeches to learn if you normally learn via visual aids or a book. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.